Thank you very much. Wow. After securing his historic second White House term as the 47th president, Donald Trump's team is looking ahead to day one priorities, including carrying out his campaign promise to deport an estimated 12 million undocumented immigrants and rescind any Biden administration policies that expanded opportunities for migrants to live and work in the U.S. The president-elect already starting to fill out his administration. New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik is said to be the administration's top candidate for U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, though no official decision has been made. Susie likes to stay sort of in the back, let me tell you. The ice baby, we call her the ice baby. Women among the first names to fill administration roles, including his campaign manager Susie Wiles, who will serve as Trump's White House chief of staff. Wiles, the daughter of football legend Pat Summerall, becomes the first woman to hold the influential role. From the Oval Office to quite the shakeup on Capitol Hill, as the latest results appear to put House and Senate Republicans on track to control both chambers of Congress next year. The GOP carrying the Senate with 53 seats following a major upset out of Pennsylvania. Republican David McCormick flipped incumbent Bob Casey's seat. Like Trump and Republicans across the map, McCormick significantly erased Democratic support. Meanwhile, lawmakers in other states are prepared to challenge the new Trump administration. As attorney general, I will continue to use the full force of the law, the full authority of my office to address injustice to stand up for all people, especially those who have been long overlooked and undervalued, to safeguard reproductive rights. California Governor Gavin Newsom echoing the state attorney general, calling for a special election of the state legislature to help fund potential legal challenges to Trump policies affecting women's rights, immigration, and climate.